Hey guys, First Light has announced their new for 2024 Whitetail line, and I just wanted to do a quick video reacting to and kind of analyzing the release um, based on what they've told us so far. I haven't seen any like real world reviews from people who have used it so much, but they've announced the specs, the pricing, and the three new whitetail hunting outfits that they're releasing for 2024. Just wanted to do a quick overview and give you my thoughts, hopefully help you make a purchasing decision. So let's get into it. All right, so it looks like they're releasing three new kits for this year, replacing former Catalyst Solitude and Sanctuary systems with something called the Phase, the Core, and the Thermic systems. Okay, so the Phase says it's $325 for the jacket, and it's uninsulated but windproof. Um, I wouldn't say uninsulated, it doesn't have any traditional insulation, but it is fleece, so I wouldn't say it's uninsulated, it's just fleece insulation. Um, looks like a kind of a grid fleece lining in there, and then like a brushed fleece on the outside. Um, if we're looking at Sika gear, this would be comparable to like the Stratus system, I guess. Um, it's basically a shell that's windproof. Got the tree stand pass through if you're into tree stand hunting. Chest pockets, hand pockets, but has the kit link pass through, so they're keeping that. Removable hood, contoured collar. Something I've always had an issue with with basically every company is the collars are always way too tall. If they come up to here, you can't bow hunt out of it without like rolling it in or tucking it in. I'm glad that they've they've tapered that significantly. It looks like, let me pull up a picture of it here. There's the collar. So it's a way lower collar than the previous stuff. Still a little higher than I would prefer. I really like the design of the collar on the um, Scentlock John Eberhardt series like saddle hunter suit. To me, that, that collar design is perfect. It's like almost no collar in the front and then really tall in the back, which is what you want. The wind and the weather off your neck. That's the phase kit, 325 bucks. Now let's look at the bibs, the phase bibs. 325 as well. <clears throat> so certainly not cheap. And it's the same material. It's got the kangaroo pouch. The pockets are much improved over the previous ones. It's got dual access with zippers and stuff. Looks like a pretty relaxed fit. Full zips on the legs. Yeah, so that's pretty good looking. So that's the early season kit. Moving on to the core. So the core jacket, 450 bucks, a little steeper. Um, that looks like it does not have a brushed finish. That looks like um, pretty similar to like if you've used the source jacket, it's like a smoother base fabric. But it's still pretty durable. It's got a whole bunch more pockets. I like the flaps over the, the kit link pockets there. Again, removable hood, again, windproof. A little chunkier, but it, it looks like it is probably a lot more compressible. The, uh, the Solitude, my one complaint was that it was heavy and it didn't pack up really at all. You had to like roll it really tight and it just didn't compress. It was just the jacket alone was, was like that big rolled up and the bibs were even bigger. Uh, it looks like they trimmed some weight out. This is 38 ounces, so a little over two pounds for the jacket, so that is, I believe, significantly lighter than their previous stuff. Still not light, but if you want it to be quiet, that's normal. Okay, so this looks like it's replacing the Solitude system. 450, which is a little expensive, but probably worth it. And then let's look at the core bibs. Core bibs are also 450. Looks like they've got a higher loft fleece um, on the, the kangaroo pocket, which I like. Pretty relaxed fit, but not super like sloppy. That makes sense. Um, if you hunt in a, a colder environment, this would probably be the way I would go. And they also have a core vest, which is interesting. I'm a vest guy, personally. I would rather go lighter on the arms and then have an insulated vest. Very nice. Yeah, to me, the vest is the real value in this, this kit. I'm very interested in that vest. 80 grams of Primaloft insulation, windproof. So it's Primaloft Gold, same stuff that's in the source jacket, which I love. I have the source jacket and vest. I love that system. Yeah, that vest looks like an awesome, <clears throat> like an awesome piece. Again, the collar's a little lower, probably higher than I would ideally like it, but it's not too bad compared to some of the older stuff. And it's it's a thinner. It looks like it's not as insulated up there, which is good. So that'll at least be out of the way. Let me see. I forgot to check. Let's see how many grams of insulation are in the, the core jacket. I wonder if that's 80 grams as well. Yeah, 80 grams in the body, 60 grams in the sleeves. The nice thing about this kit is it's not going to pick up burrs nearly the same way as like the fleece one. So the phase kit that has that fleece, you got to watch for like burrs and, and briars and stuff. And then let's look at the thermic. What a name. That sounds sick. Thermic jacket is 500 bucks. 
but it's got like super high loft fleece on the inside and the hand muff. Okay. Again, removable hood, collar's still pretty low. Good work there, it's a huge improvement. Still got the adjustable cuffs and everything. So it seems like they all have pretty much the same features. It's just an insulation difference. Some different features, I guess. 170 grams of Primaloft gold in the body and 133 in the arms and hood, plus the Sherpa fleece lining. So that's gonna be super, super warm. Where I hunt, this would almost not even get used. Um, the latest I would hunt would be like the end of January and temperatures there, if, if we get into the single digits, it's very cold that time of year. But if you're in Minnesota, Far north, Michigan, anywhere like that, this might be something you'd use in the late season. 66 ounces for just the jacket, so it's certainly heavy. And this also looks like it has the same outer material that the older stuff had. So they sacrificed weight here for just burly, burly build quality. So interesting that all three pieces in the new kit have different materials on the outside. We go from like a a pretty fine brushed fleece to what's on the source jacket, which is like a stretch material. It's probably stretched nylon or poly. And then up to what they used to use on the older stuff for the, the thermic. Now I haven't used this stuff, so I can't confirm that that's the material, but it looks very similar to the older stuff. That Sherpa fleece is nice on the inside. I'm glad they didn't do that super high loft fleece on the outside. I think that's a mistake. To me, the best value here is gonna be the phase kit. Um, that's what, if I was going to buy something, I would buy the phase kit. And if I was going to hunt later into the season, I would use the core vest over the phase kit. So if you got the phase jacket and bib, and then the core vest, where I hunt, I mean, if we get, like I said, if we get into single digits, it's rare during hunting season. So I think those three pieces with a couple base layers and stuff underneath, you could get through all season down to single digits easy with some layering. The Whitetail Catalyst system was awesome for me. I had the bibs and the jacket that I used for a while um, with the Solitude vest, which was a great setup. The one problem that I ran into with that is that the, the, the Catalyst was not fully windproof. It was pretty wind resistant. Um, there were only a few times where I noticed that I wished it was windproof, but when you get into like below freezing temps and blistering winds, you know, 20, 30 miles per hour, which I'm not usually hunting in those conditions, but it happens sometimes. Um, it, you just felt the wind starting to poke through it. So this phase kit, I think, is what I'm most interested in. I think you could probably start hunting with this when it was in the 40s, maybe even the 50s, with very little under it. Maybe just like a, a base layer under it. And then add a fleece, and then add some kind of puffy underneath. And if it got really cold, you could add that core vest over top. Um, I've also started using a heated vest, so I bet you could take this kit down into single digits if you were layered up quite a bit and then had a heated vest on. Very interesting. I like this I like this reboot. I think it was some needed changes. It looks like everything is a little bit lighter and, and quieter and the windproof is the big thing. So the, the newer Solitude kit, I think two years ago, became windproof. And that was a huge upgrade. I had that that Solitude system. But it had like a crinkly kind of, it didn't feel as soft and as light as the previous one. So I think that windproof membrane kind of changed the materials a bit. And this looks like they're fixing some of those issues. My two cents and my general perspective on buying a new system is I'd rather have something that I can use more often, even if it's not perfect in cold conditions. You don't want to spend eight, nine hundred bucks on a system that you can only use a few times a year because it's not cold enough. If you can only buy one kit, you want to get as much bang for your buck out of that kit as you can. So buy the lightest thing that you can make work as opposed to buying the Thermic kit that you're only going to wear when it's in the single digits. I think that Thermic kit is going to be very, very specialized for people who hunt and frigid temperatures, I don't personally think that would make a lot of sense for me. And realistically, you're not, your goal should not be to buy all three of these suits. I think that's a waste of money. I think what you wanna do is, is find the suit that fits your needs best for the largest period of time. So if you're in, in the Northern range and it's typically teens and 20s during the rut, maybe you'll go with the core. Um, and if it's a little warmer, like my situation, or you're down South, I mean, down south, the phase might be enough to get you through the whole season without really layering much underneath. So weigh your needs, um, weigh your options, and, and approach it that way. Cool. Well, I'm excited to get my hands on this, and I'm going to see how that works this season. I'll do some reviews as the season goes on on, on my system and how I'm, how I'm using this stuff and how it's working for me. But I think these are some really good offerings from First Light, and I'm excited to see some real-world reviews start rolling in 
to see what people think of this stuff because it looks really good on paper and I'm excited to uh, to see what people think. My understanding is that they had quite a good team behind this stuff, like like putting it together and giving feedback. So thank you for watching and be on the lookout for more reviews in the future.